it's Q&A Wednesday. Yay! Rejoice! <laughs> uh, we were like running out of ways to like introduce Q&A Wednesdays. <laughs> they all they all sound they're all starting to sound the same. Yeah, you guys gotta help us. Leave us a comment. Tell, Tell us what we should, should do. Uh, introduce the next Q&A video. But yeah, hope you enjoy our video. Blah blah but not asks, who is your favorite YouTuber? So for me, I think it would have to be Cutie Pie Marzia. Uh, she's so adorable to watch and I love her editing, it's so cute and she just makes me really happy with her videos and I love watching her videos that have uh, Felix in them. <laughs> They're so cute together and she just makes me so happy. You can always brighten up my day. <laughs> uh, for me, I, I have a couple favorites. It used to be Watch Us Live and stuff but unfortunately they they no longer together so it's just Kalel now, and she's still one of my favorite YouTubers, so, uh, yeah. I just love them so much because they were so inspiring as a couple, and it was just so much fun watching their vlogs, seeing what they do every day. Another one of my favorites is Dan is Not on Fire, and I just love him because he's so, like, awkward <laughs> and funny. <laughs> kind of reminds me of... Us. <laughs> Minus the funny part. <laughs> oh yeah, Brian Higa is also really awesome. He's pretty funny. He's really, he's pretty punny. Seppe <laughs> <laughs> Benito asks, Do you girls know how to speak French? If yes, can you introduce yourselves in French? Thank you. <laughs> um, bonjour. Je m'appelle Weywin. <laughs> I'm just, I'm gonna pretend I know some French and I'm just gonna copy her because I think she took French like for two years. Yeah, but my pronunciation is totally wrong. But anyway, bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> I didn't say. <laughs> bonjour. Je m'appelle Yuen. <laughs> um. Mm. Yeah, that's our French for you guys. <laughs> Ethan E. Chan asked if you could go on a one week trip anywhere, where would it be? And on a scale of 1 to 10, how much do you want to be a part of My Chemical Romance? <laughs> um, like, beyond 10? <laughs> Off the charts, yeah. But I guess that's impossible now because they're broken up and it's just really sad. Mm -hmm. And if I could go on a one week trip anywhere, I would want to go uh, somewhere I've never been before. And I try to go to as many places as possible, so maybe a different place every two days so I could have time to actually check out the place and experience whatever there is to experience in that place. So, but a week is like seven days, so seven divided by two is 3.5! 3.5 places! But I can't, but you can't really go to half a place. Well, if you have one foot in one place and <laughs> another, I guess it counts, but that thing counts as two places. What is this? Uh, for me, I think, I know I always say this every single video, but I would, I would go to Disneyland for a week. I, it's, it is just the happiest place on earth. And I would, I don't know where else I would be as happy as I would be. Does that make any sense? I don't know where else in the world I would be happier than... <laughs> I'm just gonna stop. I, I think you get what I'm trying to say. Uh, someone anonymous asks, <laughs> At what time do you use, usually sleep? Um, it depends, but it depends what we're doing. I think... Well, not really. <laughs> Most of the days it's like anywhere from 1 to 2, I'd say. Or, no, some days it's like 11, 12. I just, sometimes I follow her lead. She's gotten really good at trying to sleep early. <laughs> and then Not I'm, really. Like, I used, like, a while ago maybe, like, I started sleeping at, like, 11 or 12. But now, like, I've been going back to my old ways and sleeping at, like, 2 or 1 to 2. Back. It's, I want to, I really want to get back on my 11 o'clock game because I'm just always so, so sleepy all day. But... But now that I think about it, even when I do sleep early, I still get sleepy, so like... I think it's even worse <laughs> when I sleep more, actually. I think. I'm not I sure. I think it would just make me feel better if I... <laughs> if but I yeah. knew that I was sleeping early. Yeah, because usually we get like... 5 or 6 hours, which is not enough, so... No. <laughs> sleep.
Cookie Burly Kids. Cookie Valentine 745 asks, what is the scariest thing to ever happen to you? Um, scariest thing to ever happen to me? Oh, this is pretty scary. So, uh, back in like grade 6 or 7, I think it was 6. But yeah, I was a part of this, um, my class was like an outdoorsy kind of class. And we always went hiking and uh, camping, anything that has to do with like the outdoors. So, on this specific trip, we went um, cross country skiing, and there were like different groups of like um, different uh, levels, I guess. And I think I was in the the lowest one, <laughs> the noob level, <laughs> the noob level of cross country skiing. Um, so yeah, I was with them, and then we were in the woods, in the forest, in the mountains, and yeah, I was with the group, and then somehow I got separated from them. Even the slowest group I got separated from, <laughs> <laughs> which is pretty funny, but it wasn't funny at the time, because I had no idea what to do. Like, I literally thought I would be eaten by wolves, or bears, but then I thought, bears are hibernating, right? So wolves. <laughs> but yeah, I I sat there not knowing what to do if I should like try to find my way back to our campsite or keep going forward to try to look for them. I just had no idea what to do, so I just sat there and I thought I was gonna die. <laughs> it was really scary. But eventually, I think someone was even slower than me and they caught up to me and I was like, oh thank God. <laughs> so yeah, I didn't die. I. I honestly can't remember what the scariest thing is that happened to me. Like, I don't, I've never, I was never part, part of like that kind of class, so I never really went hiking or anything. Or, um, I would, I would, oh, I think like, I think when we were little, like, I think both of us almost drowned <laughs> in like this wave pool. I don't know like how I didn't drown, but. I think we were on this like uh, inner tube, <laughs> like a bunch of us were on there, and then I guess the w a big wave came in, came in and we all just like flew off. Yeah, especially because we're like tiny and mm -hmm. it's. I just, I it's all very vague to me, but like I can like kind of remember like the colors and stuff, but like I don't, it's I don't know. I I just remember almost like drowning. <laughs> so that even though I can't remember it that well, that's probably the scariest thing that's happened to me that I can remember. <laughs> Thanks for watching our Q&A video, we love doing these for you and we also love hearing your questions so leave your new questions in the comments below and we will get to them next video. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, make sure to follow us on all our social media sites, everything is down there. So if it's not down there, it's not ours and yeah, don't trust it. Stranger danger. <laughs> Stranger danger. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.